Hi everyone, Mike Fisher here. In this video, I want to highlight the most effective way to build real-world cloud and DevOps skills. Now, spoiler alert, the best way to learn is a mix of great training courses and hands-on experience. Now, there's a lot of certification-based training out there, and you know I'm building out some training courses myself, but I'm always hearing and reading about folks that have cloud certifications, uh, even at the professional levels, but then struggle to apply this knowledge and you know configure multiple services together to make a working solution. Having that hands-on experience to supplement your certification training is so important for the memory retention of this information, and it helps you develop that uh, muscle memory of how to actually utilize these skills in the real world. Now, gaining this hands-on experience can be tough for a lot of folks. You know, you may be uh, just starting to look at a career in uh, cloud technology, and you're in sort of that uh, chicken and egg scenario. Uh, you know, you need to get that uh, first job to get the experience, but you need the cloud experience to get the job. Uh, what are you supposed to do? You know, maybe you're in a job role where you're simply not exposed to the variety of cloud services and, you know, different technologies that the latest certifications test on. So, you know, it's near impossible to get all the experience you need if you're mainly working on just a few core services day in and day out in your current job role. Now, the other challenge is how do you gain this experience, but do it in a time effective way? Your goal is to learn the new cloud technology skill sets, but we all have limited amount of time in our busy lives. You don't want to waste hours setting up cloud accounts, uh, VPCs, and doing all this trivial configuration stuff before you can even start to learn the actual scenarios and services you're looking to learn. You need something where you can quickly target the services and technologies you want to learn without spending those wasted hours with the you know basic setup, uh, you know plumbing type stuff to you know get that lab environment even up and running. Then if you're looking to experiment with new cloud services to learn about them, you need to really think about the costs and security risks involved. Depending on the cloud services and configuration options, you could be racking up quite the bill with all the stuff needed for your lab environment. You don't want to have that surprise bill in your personal account for hundreds of dollars, uh, that cloud provider invoice for that lab environment you forgot to clean up after you're done can be uh, quite the shock. Uh, you know, I may or may not be speaking from experience here. Or uh, what about if your organization is looking uh, at skilling up staff on uh, you know, cloud or DevOps technologies? Um, how do you manage that potentially hundreds of extra you know, cloud provider accounts uh, and keep track of all the spend and budgets within the accounts and also ensure that the resources uh, are being cleaned up properly to keep wasted cloud spend at a minimum? Then there's the security piece. Uh, this is often a big concern, and if it isn't, it should be, uh, especially if you're considering hands-on training solutions for your organization. For training situations and lab environments, I often see folks configure their environments with very open and loose security settings. Now, I'm certainly guilty of this myself. Uh, you know, when you just want to quickly get an environment up and running, uh, you know, practice some new cloud service. Uh, you know, last thing you want to do is spend hours building out least privileged designs, uh, security configurations, those IAM policies. You know, just for these you know simple lab environments, we often keep resources publicly accessible in the lab environments and have these wide open security groups and stuff so we can easily access and connect all the lab components together and you know just get straight to the learning part with as little friction as possible. Now as an organization, having staff with potentially hundreds of different uh, cloud accounts for training can open up a ton of security risk for having these potentially insecure lab environments popping up all over the place. So what's the solution here then? Cloud Vikings has teamed up with Scalable to offer you over a thousand hands-on challenge-based labs across different cloud providers, uh, Kubernetes, uh, programming languages, uh, Linux, and other cloud and DevOps technology areas. These labs solve all the challenges we talked about and provide a unique, highly effective learning environment through a variety of real-world challenge-based labs that vary in difficulty. Now for that cost concern, you just have that one-time cost for access to the labs and there's a variety of options here to choose from to meet your specific training goals and budget. There's no more surprise cloud bills for hundreds of dollars uh, running these lab environments in your own accounts. For organizations, these lab solutions may save thousands of dollars compared to having staff uh, spending hours of their time creating the uh, you know, basic lab environments and having to pay for all the cloud resources deployed within them. These lab environments are all on demand and ready to go within minutes. Then the security part. All these challenge labs operate in external sandboxed environments. 
Nothing needs to be deployed or set up within your personal or company uh, cloud provider accounts. Okay, so let's take a look at what these Challenge Labs are all about. Challenge Labs are 30 to 60 minute innovative hands-on labs that are enabled with assessments to measure skills and provide the practical experience needed for certification exams or to keep skills current with ever-evolving technologies like AWS, Microsoft Azure, Cybersecurity, Linux, and more. They are divided into three levels, guided, advanced, and expert. Each challenge presents a user with a scenario and a problem to solve as an overview. As challenges increase in complexity, so do the overviews and scenarios. Guided challenges are the foundation level. Users are presented with broad goals and objectives and are presented with image and video hints if they become stuck or need a refresher. Advanced challenges are designed for a user to complete a series of tasks with specific requirements. Advanced challenges contain automatic activity-based assessments, which scores the user's work in real time to provide feedback on which tasks have been performed correctly and which items they may need to work on. Expert challenges are to demonstrate a mastery of a skill or topic. Upon completion, the student is presented with a scored report indicating if they passed or failed the challenge. Each challenge lab users successfully complete helps them earn digital badges they can show off socially. Learn more about challenge labs. Now, I've been getting lots of great feedback from uh, our students here at Cloud Vikings uh, using these labs already. And the challenge-based approach of these labs is an amazing learning environment that will help you build those real-world skills and head into your certification exams with confidence. The progressive difficulty levels and just the volume of variety of these labs across uh, AWS, uh, Microsoft Azure, uh, Kubernetes, Linux, uh, programming languages, and more, it's just such a great way to skill up on a variety of technologies all in one place. Now, another great aspect of the Cloud Vikings Challenge Labs is as you complete different lab milestones, you're able to get official completion badges that you can share on LinkedIn or your other social media channels to showcase your hard work and the new skills you've acquired. Well, I hope that gives you an idea of what these Cloud Vikings Challenge Labs are all about. And I hope that you're up for the challenge and you know, you'll be taking your career to the next level by building those real world skill sets and you know, flying through those certification exams with ease. Now, if you want to learn more about the labs, check out the Cloud Vikings page linked in the description below, or just reach out in the comments here with any uh, questions, or if you have suggestions about any you know, cloud or DevOps-based topics you'd like to see covered in the channel here, keep that learning voyage going, and I'll see you next time. <music>